Hi, I'm Reesey, and this is In Care of Cats in Elizabeth, Pennsylvania. Uh, well, this is Woody, the only cat that's allowed out this far. Um, this is a nonprofit, uh, all volunteer, 501c3 organization to the uh, rescue and sometimes rehab, I mean, always rehab, but sometimes sanctuary for cats in dire need of help. Uh, we have a minute to show you around. Come on in. This is the main door to the uh, sanctuary. This is the kitty house. It used to be an old, very old house. Uh, when we decided to help animals, we realized they couldn't wait years until we uh, raised enough money to build something. So we decided to start right where we were and go from there. And all these years later, it's still a work in progress and I think always will be. We uh, try to improve on it all the time. So why don't you come on in and see what we've done so far. We're inside the first room. I'm going to hurry through. It's a big place and I'm not going to be able to show it all. We have a strict time constraint today. This is a homemade condo for a couple chinchillas that were badly treated and so they don't like people very much. But we gave them a life here. They're happy. Um, we were featured in Cat Fancy Magazine in 2002, I believe. Very nice article. We do a lot of uh, emergency things. These two unfortunate fellas were caught in leg hold traps, which I have no idea why they're still legal in Pennsylvania, but very commonly they catch cats, dogs. Uh, they don't care what they catch. These two each lost a front leg. It's very common. And... They're lucky they survived. Isolation room for, uh, of course, when we trap them, we don't know what their health status is always just by looking at them. They require blood tests and vetting to see what uh, is the best thing we're going to do for that cat in particular. Each one is a different story. Uh, of course, there are lost animals too. We're always looking for them. We understand the pain of losing one. Everything is safe for them in all kinds of ways. I should add that all cats will be euthanized in due time. When their quality of life diminishes to be non-responsive to standard treatment, no one is here to suffer. They're here to live. Once an animal is born, they're supposed to live next. Uh, this is our America's Most Unwanted poster. There's all kinds, but for cats, you need a whole wall. Uh, the kitten is guilty. The two pets are guilty. The, the two mothers are guilty for having kittens. It's actually their owners are guilty for not spaying them. The kitten is guilty for coming up with a positive uh, infectious test. This girl got old. They want a new kitten. How sad. Uh, this guy wasn't neutered. He's a scourge of the neighborhood. He goes home for the night. Their baby goes to bed. But, well, need I say more? This little one looks just pretty much like him, but he is neutered, and he is loved by his family, and he's kept inside. But things happen. Accidents happen. Cats get lost. He could be looking for his way home. His owners could be looking for him. Traps don't care. Nasty people don't care. We do. This is, uh, well, we don't like the word feral. It's a nasty five-letter word around here. Uh, most of the cats in our midst, our community, uh, nuisance cats, so to speak, are frightened. Uh, cats frighten cats. Um, Excuse me, cats are very timid animals. They frighten easily. When lost or abandoned, they learn fear very quickly or they wouldn't survive at all. They, the kittens born to them usually don't survive. The few that do grow up to be ferals or unsocialized. Feral is never an accurate word because it means wild and these are domestic animals. Uh, angels and St. Francis, you'll find everywhere. Uh, art prints, uh, people and animals, it goes back to our very beginnings. It's inherent in humans to want to be close to animals. That's why we domesticated them in the first place. Angels and St. Francis. 
a big help here. Um, here we are at uh, finally their door. And here we go into Kitty City. Or Kitty Castle. It's not really, but I suppose it is to them. We have ramps built all over the place for their um, enjoyment. As you can see, it's very simple to do actually. Uh, and they love them. They go from room to room. Need never come down if they didn't want to. It's a pretty big place. Uh, of course, with cats, you, it's never big enough. You're going to hear some sneezing, maybe see some sneezing, but it's the nature of our work. Ironically, uh, sick cats have been punished by death as well over time. We believe in helping the ones that need it the most. God bless this home for them. That's what we're about here. This is their fireplace. Uh, it's part of the old house. We were going to tear it out, but we decided not to. And I'm glad because it makes a great place for Sandy Claus to come down and their little stockings hung waiting. Uh, their snacks and waters are changed twice a day in every room on two floors and the cat yard. And they get a big supper of uh, canned food in the afternoon. Every cat gets the nutrition it needs, whether it's um, uh, regular uh, food. As you can see, there's things in disarray here. Uh, we have supply areas, but things come and go and everything's not put away right away. We have nets around in case someone needs uh, medication or something and doesn't want to go to the care cage, they have to go. This is another room and they, we followed right along. They can go through up there. We're going to go through the French doors now to the largest room in the sanctuary. Oh, there's the um, medicine cupboard door is open. It's usually closed, but medicine cabinet's inside. We get our prescription medications through our vets. Of course, we order, we, we order truckloads of um, regular supplies. The e needs here are pretty much endless. With so many special care cats, sometimes, uh, well, we don't like to go over 150. Uh, every cat requires uh, constant monitoring, monitoring and medication. It's a large room, as you can see, and I don't have time on this uh, to point out everything. Uh, their sink, looks like they have dirty dishes in the sink, just like home. Uh, temperatures monitor constantly. I don't know if I mentioned the uh, vents in every room. Takes all the uh, stale air out and replaces it a uh, couple hours a day. All their laundry is done right in this room. I don't believe in bear cages. We like uh, blankets, towels, and sheets and uh, they get washed continuously. They're very comfortable here after they come out of their care cages. They are free to roam indoors and out. Whoops, I got the wash buckets there. Of course, the cleaning is constant. Their spiral staircase goes up to the ramps. Also to a um, loft up inside, also a playroom, and then a um, ramp goes down to the cat yard. The whole place is self-contained for their safety, and they have a lot of room for freedom. Going back this way, trying to make it quick. Their spiral staircase goes up to the loft, which goes out into the cat yard. Everything's totally contained for their safety.
don't look too stressed anymore, do they? I feel very strongly about that. It can mean life or death for a cat. Thank you for this visit. Very fast, but it gives you an idea what we're trying to do here. Cat yards open out to the cat yard all over the building. We're outside on one of the porches. It's supposed to be spring, but you know, still winter time. This is the cat yard or part of it. Can't see the whole thing. It's very large now. Reaching nearly an acre. Goes around the buildings. And we're up high on a porch here. Let's see if we can't look. Everything's so pretty in the snow. Well it goes around the building. Everything is cat fenced. We developed over time, figured it out, how to do it. It's very simple. It's inexpensive. Anybody can keep cats in if they have property and they want their cats to be safe. And it would also help cats in general a whole lot. They're, they've become nuisance animals because of their owners. But this is quite nice, especially in about a maybe a week or two or a month. Uh, it's going to be all flowers and trees, and they'll love it. Well, they love it all year long. Hope you can get an idea what it's like under the snow. There's dog houses, there's ramps, there's trees and logs and uh, tires and whatever we think would make them feel at home. Dog houses are not for living in. They are simply lawn furniture. The cats come and go inside and out. There's one uh, cat door right there. Goes straight into the sanctuary we just left. Well, uh, that was our mini mini tour. There's so much to see here. I hope you uh, was able to enjoy some of what you saw. You'll have to come back again because we're going to have to do part two, three, and four to show this whole place. This is Princess, actually Princess Martha, uh, wants to say uh, thank you for coming to In Care of Cats, and we hope you'll come back soon. Thank you. Bye.